What's up, everyone? Mark Lobiner, TigerFitness.com, peptides. I just did a video of the best peptides I tried in 2025. And now it's 2026. And there are three peptides that I'm going to talk about that I have yet to try that I really cannot wait to try. And we get them in the mail right now, and then I'll do reviews on them as soon as I get them in. Um, those three peptides are thymosin alpha one or ta1 mots c and sr-9011 so i'm gonna go one by one of why i want to try these and why they're exciting to me now ta1 or thymosin alpha one is a naturally occurring peptide from the thymus gland central role in immune system regulation particularly in T cell maturation and immune signaling. So it's one of the strongest clinical track records of any peptide and has been studied and used internationally for decades. So this does not simply stimulate the immune system. It modulates the immune response, meaning it helps normalize immune activity rather than pushing it in one direction. This is why it's been studied in viral infections, immune suppression, chronic inflammation, and post-illness immune recovery. Now, Huge, huge, huge flu season going on right now. The flu disappeared during the COVID years, but then it miraculously came back. It's not like they could have been misidentifying the flu as COVID, uh, but but generally speaking, um, COVID was bigger and stronger than the flu, and COVID's like, I'm going to go get these people, and the flu's like, oh, okay, we're just going to sit down, and then it's like, what about the mask? COVID's like, yeah, we'll get past those masks, and then the flu's like, no, nah, we're good, bro, like, oh, we're not going to fight with the mask, we'll just sit it out, and that's the scientific explanation of what happened, and so... Um, it enhances your T cell function, supports your NK cell activity. That's natural killer cells. I've talked about it in past videos, this ability to go and basically kill bad stuff and improves immune signaling pathways while helping reduce inappropriate inflammatory responses. So TA1 is most often discussed in medical contexts involving immune dysregulation, frequent illness, chronic viral exposure, or periods of intense physiological stress. It's not a physique or performance peptide. should not be treated like one. So, like, you're not going to get more jacked. It's just, an, think of it like immunity. Like, for the, the reason most people take glutathione is less chance. If you're sick, you can't train, right? And so that's what it helps you do. And if you're in a state of overtraining or training really hard, if you have maybe a hard run at work, you're working on some big deal, closing, whatever, um, I do not know the exact dosing, but here's what I found. And I have to do more research when I do my big video on this. Again, if you can find other people who talked about this, what I've been able to find is one to 1.6 milligram per dose, two to three times a week for about four to eight weeks. And it's an injection. So you basically put it in, inject it. So look at it as a milligram two times a week. Kind of similar. You could probably, if you take TB500, probably just inject those on the same day, maybe Monday and Thursday and call it a day. So again, this is not medical advice. Talk to a doctor. And um, yeah, don't do anything I say. Just talk to your doctor. The next one is Mott's C. You know, I'm big on mitochondria. Talk about it all the time with GoBHB. Another one that'll be very synergistic with GoBHB. So it helps regulate glucose metabolism, insulin sensitivity, and cellular energy utilization. What is cellular energy? Well, what improves cellular energy? GoBHB. Mott C and GoBHB should be very, very awesome together. Activates AMPK, that's a key energy sensing pathway and helps cells adapt to metabolic stress. So this may improve metabolic efficiency, support fat oxidation. I have seen people claim that this helps lose fat. I haven't tried it yet. And I don't know if I'd be able to tell if I lose fat because my body fat's literally 6% year round. Not bragging, I've been trying to get fat. I just can't eat enough to get fat. Not even lying. And if I eat junk food, it makes my tummy hurt whatever, and enhances resilience to metabolic dysfunction. It's often discussed in the context of longevity, metabolic health, and age-related decline rather than rapid body composition changes. Think of it as another longevity peptide. 
So it's typically framed as a metabolic and longevity peptide, not a fat loss drug. So those who want to focus on, let's say, insulin sensitivity, metabolic health, mitochondrial function, which would be every person who's getting older, right? Like mitochondria is everything. Because as you get older, your mitochondria starts to kind of crap out. That's why we take BHB, and that's why you could try this. So the doses are, again, I got to do more research before doing this. There's plenty available online. Five to 10 milligrams a dose, two to three times a week. Um, that's what I've been able to find. Uh, subcutaneous injection. Again, talk to your doctor if you want to try this. All right. The next one is SR9011. That is a synthetic rev herb agonist. What is rev herb? Well, it's receptors. They're nuclear receptors involved in circadian rhythm regulation, lipid metabolism, mitochondrial biogenesis, and inflammation. It's not a naturally occurring peptide, but is often grouped with peptides due to its mechanism driven use in research and performance discussions. So it is a circadian gene expression. This is what it influences, circadian gene expression, which in turn affects sleep-wake cycles. Um, for those of you who have trouble waking up in the morning, this is something I like. I wake up every morning, but let's just say that since I passed like 44 years old, it's not as easy to wake up as when I was like 34, right? Sleep-wake cycles, metabolic efficiency, and mitochondrial output. We're going for the mitochondria again. Mitochondria is huge. Again, I'm going to promote go BHB to go with every one of these animal research shown its effect on fat oxidation, endurance, and metabolic rate without stimulant activity. It's not a stimulant. So it essentially pushes cells towards energy expenditure, increased energy expenditure, improved metabolic timing by acting on circadian control pathways. Pretty dope stuff. So it's this, this, this peptide SR9011 Often discussed in research and experimental context related to fat loss, endurance, and metabolic efficiency, it is still, like all of these, not approved for human use. And I'm going to show you the sites again, if you haven't seen them before, that I trust. Again, I'm not an employee of theirs. It's just two sites that I order from, and I got a coupon code, which is Lowbliner, for you to save money. I'm not doing this to get rich, but if I don't say where to go, and that's why I give two sites to avoid people saying that I'm some kind of shell, if I don't say where to go, every question in the comments section will be, where do I buy this? So, fat loss, endurance, metabolic efficiency, dosing, 10 to 20 milligrams a day. It is in capsule or tablet form. So you do take this orally. Get your brain out of the gutter. No, that's what she, I, I'm, I know you're thinking that's what she said. 10 to 20 milligrams a day split in two doses. There you go. So take it in the morning and in the afternoon. Um, cycles, people generally take this two to four weeks. That's what I've seen. I got to do more research on it. I really do. I just want to tell you what I'm excited about. And there will be future videos after I've dove into this research. So, again, 100% talk to your doctor before doing any of these. My recommendations are not to tell you to take these research chemicals. My recommendations are the dosing they've been used. And if you have a research place, this is what people have been using in research because these are for research purposes only. So going over the peptides that I talked about, um, TA1 or thymosin alpha-1 is an immune regulation with deep clinical backing. So it's immunity, period. Helps keep you healthy. MOTC, mitochondrial signaling with implication for metabolic health and longevity. SR9011, circadian and metabolic manipulation rooted in experimental research. All right, so... With that being said, we are going to go hither, and I'm going to show you where I go to get these. Number one, number one is this site right hither, nextgenpeptides.shop. That's N-E-X-G-E-N, P-E-P-T-I-D-E-S dot shop, nextgenpeptides.shop, coupon code LOWBLINER. And the other one I'm going to show you is peptidepro.io. That's and see, look, this is why I love these. 
they straight up put up the analyses, the assays. Um, these are all fantastic, fantastic sites. Um, and this is where I buy my peptides. This is where I buy B-U-Y, my peptides, these two sites. Yes, I buy them. Nextgenpeptides.shop and peptidepro.io. Coupon code LOWBLINER. Again, I give you two sites. So that way you just know that I'm just giving you two options. Now there are other good sites. I thought I talked before. I mentioned parabolic peptides, a couple others. Um, I couldn't find his ass on Instagram. I really, let me see. Hold on. Let me check this. Parabolic peptides. So this is my guy. I've met him. Oh, this is it. Yep. Yep. There's another one. I don't have a coupon code though. Um, I know this guy. I see him at trade shows. Some of the Olympia. Great dude. Um, awesome guy. And it's parabolic peptides. Ooh, let me find the button. This, this, this is how it looks. Parabolic peptides. I, again, just a homie. Good guy. Um, I have tried their stuff and, and it's good. I didn't, I, I'll ask him for a coupon code, but, but, uh, but again, I, I just want to be careful not to like be a shill, but those are three choices. Um, so where I'm getting these are, I'm getting these from next gen peptides. That's where I'm going to order these. So next gen peptides.shop. And as soon as I get them in, I will do a video for you guys. So these I'm ordering are come from next gen peptides.shop. As soon as I have them, I'll do a video, start it and give you some feedback. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching tigerfitness.com. That's tigerfitness.com. Go BHB goes with every one of these things. Clean form nutrition, nutrition, both available. Coupon code Maha, M-A-H-A, Maha gets you 10% off the entire site at tigerfitness.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing, amazing, amazing year. Absolutely love you guys. Thank you for the decades of support. It's decades now because while living a long, healthy, and prosperous life, that's not a game.